So it came to elders to me today to try to encourage me, come back to Jehovah, blah, 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 you know, the normal stuff. And we had a nice talk. They are really, was really nice people. Uh, so I have no hatred or anger to witnesses in general. They are nice people. The problem is the service department came up with all the evil rules and all the violations of human rights. Those nice people who came here today, they are, they mean well have to hand it to them and this is one of my goods and this is a sad story i'm not i'm going to tell you a story and it's not meant to be funny and in any way it's a true story and it's a sad story because i have a llama he's named after a governing body member but i won't say his name because it wouldn't be uh, polite in this situation he's frustrated and he's been humping the goats and that's i never thought about it because nothing happened it just looked weird but then he tried to molest this one he was just pounding her into the ground and she was almost dead when i found her she couldn't walk she's still dirty got to clean her she couldn't walk and she lost her voice because she'd been screaming for help and yeah it's a sad story and so i don't i'm not happy with my llama and i don't need two witnesses <laughs> he's gonna end up in my freezer and then we will have a pedophile barbecue because what he did is not okay. So, so this girl, she couldn't stand, she couldn't walk or anything. So I, I was actually spent a Sunday sitting in the chair reading a book and I put her, helped her to stand and I could read a few sentences and then she would tip over and fall, fall down. And I did the same and she got better and better and eventually she could take a step and then she would pick, tip over and I would pick her up. So I thought I could make an inspirational video about how it's important to always get up, no matter how many times you fall down. <laughs> but then I thought, you know, that's really not what's happening. I'm the one putting her up, helping her up. So I can make an inspirational video about that, helping each other. But then I thought, you know, the only reason why she's alive is because I went out looking, uh, you know, went out looking and find her. So I can make an inspirational video about that. But now when these two elders came, I actually thought about something else because when I became a farmer, I never in my wildest imagination thought that I would have to handle a case of sexual molestation on the farm, interspecial sexual molestation. But I had because this is a crappy planet and weird stuff happen. So I have to deal with it and he will turn into a barbecue. But you know, it's kind of, like I said, I don't mind the elders as individuals and they didn't sign, you know, when they became elders, I think most of them thought they would do something good for the brotherhood, something good for the truth, something like that. And then they get stuck with theocratical warfare covering up sex abuse, secret elders book, a lot of boring meetings. I feel sorry for them. I think when we do activism, we always have to keep in mind that we're not fighting the witnesses. The witnesses are nice people. They are wrong about stuff. They are deluded, but most of them mean well. They are not the enemy. The enemy is the service department, you know, the people that come up with all the theocratical warfare doctrine and stuff like that, and the governing body with their Rolexes and uh, complete lack of common sense. So, but you know, this could still be an inspirational video because my friend here, we look out for each other and we're helping each other and she's good now. So, this is a great day to be alive. So, and uh, I will have a llama barbecue. <laughs> so, see you in paradise.